Hello everyone, I make this video to help you to revise on your common test, which is the indice and sales test. This video involves some typical questions which may appear on your test and also it involves how to use the CAS calculator. There are six questions, I will go through this one by one. So the first question, define variables and form exponential rules for the following situation. A human cell of area 0.01 cm squared doubles its area every minute. So I know this one should be exponential increasing like exponential growth because it doubles area, the area is increasing. So I can have a0, a equals to a0, times 1 plus r percent to the power of t. The a0 is the initial amount and the r0 is the increasing rate. Okay, so what I'm trying to find is the initial amount and the increasing rate. But we need to define our variables first. Like make a to be the human cell area And T becomes the time in minutes. Okay. So what's our A0? Our A0 must be equals to 0 0.01 because we start from 0 0.01. What's our R percent? Our R percent must be equals to 100% because the double, I double its area. The double means every minute our cell will become twice as the previous area. So the R percent will equal to 100. Doubles gives you the increasing rate as 100%. Therefore, we can write our rule as A equals to 0 0.01 times 1 plus 100% to the power of t. That equals to 0 0.01 times 2 to the power of t. Okay, that's the first question. Let's have a look at the second one. The second one, the half of life of a substance is 100 years. Find the rate of the decay per annum, expressed as percentage correct to one decimal place. So first of all, what is half-life? Half-life is the time takes something to decay to the half of the original value. So now it's telling us that the half-life is 100 years. Let's write the rules first. My A will equal to A0 because it's exponential decay. A0 times 1 minus R percent to the power of T because it's decreasing, so R is the decreasing rate. That is the thing what we're trying to find here. So half-life equals to 100 years, which means when T equals to 100, my A must be equals to half of the initial value. Initial value is A0, so it's A0 on 2. Let's substitute this values into the equation above. So A0 on 2 must be equals to A0 times 1 minus R percent to the power of 100. Now I can cancel out the A0 and I0. A0. I can divide A0 on both sides. So I have a half equals to 1 minus R percent to the power of 100. Now R is the only variable in the uh, equation here. So I can solve this, but I need my CAS to solve it. So let's open our CAS calculator. So to start to use the CAS calculator, I want you to do some change, some settings here. Let's go to number five here the settings and go to number two, the document setting. Let's make change the first one, the display digit to 
a float eight or a higher one, a float nine or float ten, because I want more digits showing on your calculator. And press OK. Then go to the calculator page. I want to solve the red equation. So a half equals to one minus r percent to the power of a hundred. How can I solve something? I'll press menu, go to number three algebra, and go to number one solve. So let's type that in. So a half, let's press control and divide is the fraction. So one on two equals to bracket. One minus R percent means R over a hundred R over a hundred then the whole thing to the power so power is here to the power of a hundred that's the equation we have here let's have a look we have the same equation here and i want to solve for r i will make comma r which means i'm trying to solve for r and outside let's press enter we can see we don't have like this is some really complex values why the value like that it is because the calculator will show us the exact values we want approximate value we want round up to two one decimals so let's copy this down and press Control and then press enter now we will have the values in the decimals and the first r equals to 0 0.96075 and the other one have 199 we know the second value won't be true so we will choose the first one as our answer so 0 0.69 so 0 0.69 round up to one decimals will be 0 0.7 so cas gives us r equals to 0 0.7 round up to one decimals so r percent equals to 0 0.7 percent so the answer will be 0 0.7 percent for question two okay let's have a look at question three okay so she invests 5,000 is compound interest at 8.4% par. So par means per year, over five years. Okay, so we know our principal is 5,000 here. And our interest is the compound interest. And we have five years, over five years. So over T is five years. Determine the amount he will have after five years if the interest is paid quarterly. Okay, paid quarterly. Round to the nearest cents. Okay, so compound interest compound interest is a equals to p 1 plus r percent to the power of t is same as the exponential growth so what's our p our p is 5000 what is our r percent so our r percent is 8.4 percent but here, our interest is paid quarterly, so we can't really use the 8.4%. So I will rewrite the interest rate and the period of time. So times of payment How many times I will get my payment? It paid me quarterly so over five years each year i'll be paid four times so i will get to pay 20 times 